Hi everyone. Um, this is hopefully the last video. They're on the five minutes, it's doing weird. But we'll give it a quick go with this one. So it says find the coordinates and the points of inflection. So the first thing I need to do is find d2y by dx squared. So dy dx is 8x cubed plus 12x squared minus 144x. And d2y by dx squared is 24x squared plus 24x minus 144. Next thing I want to do is find where d2y by dx squared is 0. So I've got my 24x squared plus 24x minus 144 is equal to 0. Now that gives me 2 or minus 3. So now what I need to do is check on either side of them. So I'm going to use the numbers from the completed pack. So for x is 2, I'm going to try x is 1.9. Now that gives me a second differential value, so I'll sub 1.9 into this and it gives me a value of minus 11.76 and then I'm going to try x is 2.1 so d2y by dx squared is and the completed pack says that's 12.24 so if you look I've got a sign change around where I think my point of inflection is because remember it might not be a point of inflection might just be a stationary point. So here there is a sign change. There's a change from convex to concave or vice versa. So there must be a point of inflection at x is 2. So now if I try, oops, for x is minus 3, I'm going to try. So if I try minus 2.9. So the completed pack says it's in minus 11.76. And if I try minus 3.1, so I'm looking on either side of the minus 3, it's 12.24. That's a 2, that's a 4. So once again, I've got a sign change on my point of inflection is that x is minus 3. There you go, job done, that's finished. Video number 7320. Bye bye.